Corner kick to Hearts. To be taken by outside left Hamilton. A shot to Thompson. Thompson across the goal. Coming there, coming, doesn't get the error. And it's there! The goal! Yes. The ball was tapped to Murray by Bowman when it looked as if Bowman had lost his chance. He very cleverly turned it into Murray's track. And from five or six yards range, Murray rocketed the ball into the roof of the net. And with about, I should say, 15 minutes play, Hearts have gone into the lead by 1 nothing. A goal scored by inside right Jim Murray. Bowman, a nice pass into Smith's track. Smith and Hughes going for it. And this time a corner to Hibbs. A corner to Hearts, rather. A corner to Hearts on the right. Some 15 minutes left. Smith to take it left footed. There it goes, coming across the face of the goal. Headed away. Hamilton trying to get his feet in. Can't do it. Ball to Blackwood. Can Blackwood turn it in? Across the face of the goal. And there it is. Murray from six yards. This opportunist player. Four goals in his last two games. From six yards, the ball turned across the goal. And Murray hooked it past Wilson. 15 minutes to go. Hearts two. Hibernian two. And on pressure. A very well merited equaliser and a reward for a hard afternoon's work by inside right Jimmy Murray. Wallace. Nice one out to Trainer. Found the chink in the hips defence and a good one in. A beautiful header there by Alan Gordon. A wonderful headed goal. After 28 minutes to put Hearts. One goal up in this derby, perhaps rather against the run of play, but a beautifully taken goal after smart work there by Wallace and Trainer. And gaining in confidence all the time as a result of that very nicely headed goal by Gordon. Trainer, right footed, and Gordon again completely in the clear, unmarked. Just too far ahead and cut off there by McNamee. The trainers picked it up, moving dangerously on the Hibs goal again. And just fails to get his crossover, but now Gordon's taken the block. Very neat play, and it's into Wallace inside the penalty area. And it's the second goal. Billy Wallace there, from inside the penalty area, right footed, shot hearts into a 2 0 lead after 31 minutes. And that makes it eight goals this season for Willie Wallace. Tremendous turn up, but a great display of chance snapping by the Hearts. Another left-footed one from Johnny Hamilton, swinging in, pushed out, and goal there, pushed out by Billy Wilson to Alan Gordon, and the young inside left, right-footed, shot the ball cleanly into the net. Not a very good clearance there, I'm afraid, by Billy Wilson, but the chance snapped up very well and very smartly by Alan Gordon, after 19 minutes of the second half. Hearts now 3-1 ahead and a very strong position with only 25 minutes or so of this derby to go. Here's Eric Stevenson. Headed away by Poland. Forward now to Gordon. Out on the right wing, into the penalty area, right footed across, punched away. go 4-2 ahead in this rollicking derby game here in the rain at Easter Road. Tommy White scored 33 goals after he joined Hearts last season from St Mirren, but none perhaps any better than that. He was adopting a very fluid forward formation at the moment, no doubt in an effort to try and retrieve their situation. But a good move there by Wallace, he's coming through and he's on. 25 yards out, and a low shot there, turned away for a corner by Wilson. Shevlin, well up again, helping on his attack. A high one, it's a good one. Tommy Trainer has scored a fifth goal for Hearts and it's now Hearts 5, Hibs 2. Hearts have really made the most today of every chance that have come their way and given Hibs an object lesson in the, the very vital art of goal scoring.
it's given the Hearts supporters their first big cheer of this half. Anderson goes in the ball. Anderson. No, it's Hegarty. Jeffries making a tackle. Dangerous cross. That has been ended to go. An own goal by Eric Shedlund. 20 minutes and it's Jim Jeffries cross that put that one in. It's three against three. Here Donny's on and what a goal! Remember that Hearts haven't beaten Hibs here at Town Castle for ten years. Stevenson's reach on his own. What a run! Ford makes a goal. Well, this game seesawing dramatically. Hearts three, Hibs one. Busby. And it's there! 79 minutes. Draw Busby. 4 1 for Hearts. Prentice making the run. Slips inside Brunley. Prentice going right through and scoring! So Eamon Bannon to take it. Cuddling it low. McQuaid turning and scoring! Dennis McQuaid within a minute of the restart of the second half has made it Hibs nil, Hearts 1. Oh, a chance here for O'Connor, number two. Hearts absolutely delighted. Derek O'Connor gets his second goal for them. 12 minutes into the second half. Hibernian nil, Hearts two. Park, that's Robertson. Park again, better ball inside Mackay to Robertson. Well, there's a curl in that, it's in! There's deflection, I think, one each. John Robertson, the man who seemed most likely to succeed, and he has. 31 minutes of the second half gone, to the delight of the heart support. And we, I think, had an almost perfect picture of that. Five in the wall. Baron leaves it, there's Ferguson. Now oh, Bannon! There's Collins winning it back for hits. Well, that's good play from Collins. Well, running into that ruck of players in Maroon and losing possession eventually. There's Ferguson putting out McKinley on the left. Robertson calls to the ball in the middle, up he goes! There's Robertson!
the edge red star player was totally uncovered Robertson the ball very well, Scott Crabb being challenged fiercely by Beaumont, but the corner kick's been given. Hart starting very briskly, looking to take the initiative in the early stages of the match. So John Burridge coming into this match after three straight shutouts, anxious to maintain that record. Hogg getting up well, there's Robertson! <laughs> Typical finishing from Robertson. Hard to the head in just four minutes. 
corner kick caused the damage as Graham Hall's contribution, which was crucial, getting up so well to that. But a look at the turn on the six-yard line from John Robertson. Well, Hogg does so well under a lot of pressure here. Keith Wright was the marker, but Robertson found space in that crowded goal mouth. And it's a perfect start for Hearts. And here is Ferguson. What an arrival. And really against the run of play, Hearts have snatched the lead in the most dramatic fashion. Ian Ferguson sent on to try and pep things up, and how well he's done it. Well, not a bad substitution here. I mean, it's a long free kick. We were talking about Ferguson's aerial ability when he came on. But Ferguson flicks it on, but it's actually a great right foot half volley here that comes again Hart's way. Terrific finish. Long punt into the penalty box. Good flick on from David McPherson. Just goes over the back of the defender's head here. Just waits on it, times it lovely, and a terrific right foot shot right out of the top of the net. There's the lot. Levine getting the better of Evans in the air. Mackay to Robertson. Bannon sets off through the middle. Has the check to remain on side. Mackay looking for Bannon again. Well, that's good play by Bannon. Forced in by John Robertson. The breakthrough for Hearts. And it was the strength and the experience of Eamon Bannon which made that possible. Oh, what a blow for him to defend it so well. The pass there from Gary Mackay. Look at the strength here of Bannon. Leading into Brian Hamilton. Looked up, checked the options. Was blocked there by Hunter. And it was an own goal. It went straight in off Hunter. Well, such disappointment there for the Hibs defender who's played so well. Couldn't keep that out. He went in behind Chris Reid. Well, jubilation there for the Hearts supporters. The own goal by Gordon Hunter. Bannon hugging this left touch line now for Hearts. So two footed for these crosses. Mackay, I thought about letting that run, I thought it might have been a hip throw had it gone. That's sensible play by Mackay. Up goes Bannon! That is turned in by Ian Ferguson! Hearts up back in front! Well, Hibbs stunned again. It looked as though Chris Reed. Sympathy here for the young goalkeeper. But Bannon got up so well for that. And the goalkeeper couldn't recover quickly enough for that pile of bodies inside the six-yard box. Disappointment with Chris Reed as Ian Ferguson puts Hearts back in front. And once again, Hibs have left three players on the halfway line, Jackson, Weir and Evans. Forcing Hearts to think about that. Mitchell's header. They're setting themselves for a counter attack and they can get possession again. But it's back with John Robertson. And it's missed by Bunnich. Did Ian Bale get a touch? That's the only question, but it's an error by Bunnich without question. On the hour mark, Hearts go ahead. Well, John Robertson taking the credit for this. We'll see from this move whether Beard got a touch on this. Well, the answer is he didn't. The bounce deceived John Burridge, and the goal goes down to John Robertson. Well, John Burridge, bitterly disappointed, I've no doubt. Miller well, there to Mackay. This is Van de Ven. Now Derek Ferguson. Robertson playing it on, there's Beard! The end of the Hearts! 17 minutes of the match gone. Robertson the provider, Beard the finisher. 
And a great counter-attacking was from Hart. And look at the quality of the ball played in here by Derek Ferguson. Mitchell had to watch the ball to the right flank. Robertson helped it on. No one picked up Beard on the run. And a deadly header beats John Burridge. Halted by McKinley. That's for Johnston. He's inside David Farrell. Supported by Cahoon. And Cahoon now hustled by two players. He still gets the cross in. Here comes McKinley. Fine play by McKinley. And the only goal for Hearts is scored by John Robertson. Two and a half minutes on the clock. And a hammer of hits does it again. A brilliant finish here by John Robertson. It's his ninth goal of the season. It's a lovely piece of skill by Tosh McKinley there. Look at that, there's John Robertson in position to do what he does well. And really, Hibbs should know about his ability to score. He's done it so often together. But it's all, a lot of it's down to John Cahoon here. Puts in a nice ball at the back post. In comes Tosh McKinley. Gets to that byline, there it is in net. Get a service, Kevin McAllister likes. Especially against Jim Weir, who's such a good central defender. Here's Foster, using his pace, a chance to win the game for Hearts. He's done it! It's Wayne Foster's first goal of the season, and it surely won the tie for Hearts. Right out of the blue, sheer joy for these Hearts supporters. And Sandy Clark go on now, four minutes left, he says, concentration required, and Wayne Foster is being booked for going to the heart supporters. But well, what a good finish this was. So this is exactly why Sandy brought him on. His pace is always a threat at the back, but his composure's good there as well, because he takes his time, he knows exactly where Jim Leighton is. Here we see the initial pass, which splits the heart's defence, uh, the hips defence, just for about the first time this half, and there he is, he takes it well, steadies himself and places it past Jim Layton. Crucial time to score a goal. So, the touch there by Mickey Weir, gives the corner kick to Hearts. Levine and McPherson go forward, Willie Jimison is also there. Touches. That's Cahoon. Now John Miller. Hagen's to the middle. That's for Hagen. He's away from Mitchell. There's John Miller. That will settle it. A deadly finish by John Miller. And the spirit in him's effort is surely now ended by that goal from Miller. Great ball played by Miller himself for David Hagen. Mitchell appeared to have done the job well. Then Hagen held it up. Bumped it square there for John Miller. And that was rifled home beyond Jim Layton. What a good goal it was by Miller. So just uh, under five minutes of the first half left. No scoring, here come Hart Search, Robertson clipping it across, McPherson's there, and David McPherson scores for Hearts. Well, David McPherson looking at the far post and picking his spot beyond Jim Layton. Well, John Robertson, who's always such a thorn this hip side providing the cross and David McPherson not picked up and picking his spot great play by John Robertson 
He's worked, worked today. Not going to get much uh, service into his feet. He's worked ever so hard. And he puts in a great cross for Big Dave McPherson, who again has been playing particularly well. That's a minute of stoppage time played as Nelson plays a high one forward. McPherson's still up there. Little stumble there by John Cahoon. He's showing persistence. He's got the free kick. So Hearts battling right to the end and uh, some nerves starting to show among the Hibs players. Again, everyone's pushed forward. Well, when Robertson's inside the penalty area against the Bernie and anything's likely to happen. There's Robertson getting a little touch. Robertson trying to get in the shot! Oh, he's done it! It's unbelievable from John Robertson! He's done it again, and he's set a new record. That's his 23rd goal against Hibernian. And it's a new record for John Robertson. 184 league goals. He overtakes that other heart's great Willie Bald in the most dramatic circumstances here at Easter Road. Well, he's punished hips down through the years. He got in a little touch there with his head. The ball broke back to him. There didn't seem to be any way through. But then he found the opening. A tremendous goal by John Robertson. Still it's Lawrence. Miller blocks him. Now it's uh, John Miller. Little touch there by Cahoon. The chance is on here! And Hearts have equalised! 83 minutes and Gary Mackay, the substitute, puts his side right back in the game. Gary Mackay, who had such a miserable afternoon against Hibs earlier in the season, little knocked down there by John Cahoon, was meant for Roberts, and it broke away to Mackay. And Gary Mackay scores a hugely important goal for Hearts.
Cameron alongside him. Tackled by Charlie. We are clever ball forward looking for Cameron. Neil McCann! He scored! Seven minutes gone! And Neil McCann has given Hearts the lead. Beautifully constructed goal by Hearts and delicately finished. The chip ball forward from David Weir. Colin Cameron got a toe to it, and McCann put it in the net. There it was, good vision there from Weir. Hughes was taken out by Cameron. 1 0. He's so uh, foxy in these situations. Fulton's header! Hearts have got the goal! And heads are behind, and we've only had five minutes. Yeah, I'm sure that's what uh, Hibs are dreading, an early goal for us, and a, a very well-worked goal. John Robertson did well, Neil McCann's ball in. And an excellent header, terrific support to run there from Steve Fulton. This is what we like midfield players to do, to support the front, and Stephen Fulton did that and got his head on it. Robertson touching it off to the goal scorer, Steve Fulton. That's got four forward ahead of him, Robertson looking to, for Fulton again. He's still going, Fulton, he's got another one. Ten minutes gone, 2-0. Steve Fulton scored them both. Yeah, another for Jim Jeffries. The light, yeah, another tremendous example of going on ahead of the ball. And he got the break from uh, Sean Dennis. It was a bit slack in Sean Dennis's back, but all credit to Steve Fulton. He took the, the chance, he got he gambled in going ahead of the ball, and the ball broke to him and his left foot tucked it tidily away there. Now Richie to Weir. Spurt of pace from Weir, away from Barry Levetti. David Weir gets a free kick, just a few yards outside the penalty area. Grant Brebner lured into this tackle. And David Weir, I think, made the most of it, to be honest. But Willie Young was close in attendance to make the ruling. The anxious face on the goal line of Brian Gann, making sure the wall is expertly positioned. He's still not happy with it. John Robertson is over the free kick, Colin Cameron there as well. It's Robertson! It's almost unbelievable! He's been on the pitch a matter of seconds. And John Robertson fires in the equaliser. Story big stuff. Robertson kisses the badge, that is his 27th goal against Hibbs. People keep talking about the menace that he is to Hibbs in these matches, and he keeps revisiting this fixture, and he keeps delivering the knockout blow. Left away by McGinley. Back in from Flugel for Kevin James, won the header, McSwiggins play! And Gary McSwagger equalises for Hearts. It's been coming in the last few minutes. Twice the Tynecastle team have been thwarted by the acrobatics of Scott's Finally, he's beaten. 
And it was the aerial threats of Kevin James. His knockdown. Swigan got the flick. It was away from Gutskelton. And trundling towards the far corner of the net. Nothing anyone could do here to keep it out of the net. It's 1-1. Now here's a chance, Jackson and Cameron and Gary McSwiggan with time. Hughes is going to make it, no, he just holds off McSwiggan. The Hearts players swarming forward. Here's Cameron. And again, Nibs have managed to get everybody back in, but that's nice play by Jackson. Tries a left and shot a goal! What a goal by Darren Jackson! Magnificent! you needed to write the script to the Derby match. Darren Jackson puts himself forward with the character Roy of the Rovers. What a finish. Well, it didn't look as if there was a chance on here. Jackson's touch took him away and then he just looked up left foot lashing it past Colgan. Franjo is to his right and that's where it's going to go, I think. Kind of. Google makes the run ahead. Franjo can't really see an option at the moment. So he might go for it himself. He does! Oh, yes! A quite glorious goal from Franjo! And Hearts are heading into Europe! That's a wonderful piece of technique here by the Spaniard. It appears of nowhere to go here. Just checks onto his right side, gets away from Ian Murray. And he has the composure there just to pass that inside the right-hand post. A little bit of bend on it, didn't go for power, but he was precise enough to leave Nick Colgan without a hope there, as the Hibs goalkeeper at full stretch tried to get to it. But he couldn't have been more accurate, Banjo there. A wonderful goal, and you can see the relief there on Jim Jeffrey's face. It'll be taken by Lee Makel. The Jambos looking to go back in front here. Makel whips it in, McSwiggan got a little it's there! Gary McSwiggan celebrates! And Hearts are back on course for the UEFA Cup. Well, he's had to get a sniff all afternoon, Gary McSwiggan. It's a great delivery, and look at the pace on it. And the deftest of touches there is enough to beat Colgan. Good ball in. And McSwiggan just had to get a glance in that. Such was the, the pace and the ball as it came in here. And he does well up in front of John Hughes. Well, you can't blame Colgan there. Once again, the pressure off for Jim Jeffries. The top scorer claims his 15th of the season. Hughes' corner is an inviting one. It's headed away. Colton then returns around. McKenna's on side, and he's going to score. Not the cleanest of connections, but hard to ahead. takes the salute of his teammates and the home fans. Alan Mabry swung in the corner. He was initially defending well. And Steve Fulton was hanging around and played in the header. Ebbs reacted for offside and Kevin McKenna just bounced the ball over Nick Colgan. Ian Murray was looking for the offside, couldn't get back in time. And it's the start that Frank Soze definitely didn't want.
shots and the Edinburgh Derby gone. And that was top chance taking. Yeah, it's, a, it's, it's route one really from Hearts Rob. It's a, it's a long ball knocked forward. The Priest is a big lad. He actually misses the ball, there's no contact whatsoever. Andy Kidd didn't wait to see if he was offside. He stuck the ball in the back of the net. And Hearts has ever only one up. Only one goal for Kirk in the whole of last season. He's equaled that already this time around. And you have to admire a great bit of finishing from Kirk. De Vries succeeded in putting off Smith. Kirk was lost by the Hibs defence. They have to settle for one at the moment. Jean-Louis Valois looking to create number two. He's very elusive, difficult to tie down. Here's a chance for Mark De Vries. Is it two? It certainly is! A dream debut for Mark De Vries! His first goal for Hearts, his first start for Hearts, and they are 2 0 up in the derby. It's a fantastic goal from Hearts. Valois again down that left hand side, cutting inside again. A magnificent chip almost in the middle, and Big De Vries, he certainly controlled that one exceptionally well on his chest, and the ball was only going to end up one place, and that was the back of the net. Hart deserved the 2 0 up. Great, great skill from Valois. The Hearts fans are excited about what they see from Valois, and they're certainly excited about this finish from the Dutchman De Vries. He did everything right. 19 and a half minutes gone in the second half. Hearts 2, Hibs 1. Delicately poised. There's De Vries. There's Valois. Saved by Keg. And De Vries! He scored a second. It's dreamland for the Dutchman. 3-1 Hearts. And that could be the goal that finally kills off Hibbs' resistance. There's plenty of time left, but now Hearts back with that two-goal advantage. It's that long ball again into the box. De Vries, enough presence here to get a flick on. Valois, shot on target, so important to hit the target. And what a composed finish. The big lad mentioned his touch earlier, but that's real composure. All he's got to do eventually is hit the target, and he does that exceptionally well. The Hatsby boys are proven to be very, very effective today. Well, a moment to savour for Mark de Vries. And an instant hero at Tyne Castle. Craig Levine enjoyed that. Just a bit. Right, the song. McMullen. For De Vries, good touch. Could it be the hat trick for Mark De Vries? It could, you know. Derby debuts don't come any better than this. And what a finish to complete your hat trick. All the composure in the world. It's a marvellous finish from the big fella. Great play from Young McMullen down the left hand side, lifting his head. A great delivery into the box. Great composure again, managing to take it beyond the defender and just chip it over Tony Kay, giving up no chance whatsoever. What a magnificent hat trick in his first half we gave it in for him. Well, I think he could probably now go three months without scoring, and the Hearts fans won't really mind too much because it all means so much. And Craig Levine has a, a jig of joy with Peter Houston. I think Craig likes a wee glass of dry white of a match day evening, and I think he might have quite a few tonight. We celebrate this 4 1 Hearts. Gary Smith wants the ball away, but Gary wheels onto it. Is there to be number five for De Vries? It's unbelievable! The freedom of Edinburgh awaits Mark De Vries, or half of it anyway. First Edinburgh derby and four goals out of a 5-1 victory. It's fabulous play from Gary Wales, he's chased a lost cause here. What a magnificent ball in, and that man, the Priest, is there again. It's a clinical header, it's a, an intelligent header. Across the goalkeeper, giving him absolutely no chance, catch them wrong footed. But Gary Wales managing to lift his head again. That's a great header, marvellous finish. And Tony Kick knew that he was a beaten man because the header was directed across and away from him. There was no chance. For McKenna.
That's the equaliser. It's a great ball from Janacek. McKenna, magnificent run, peeling off his, his marker, getting to the back post. And it's a great head and across the goalkeeper, giving Conger absolutely no chance whatsoever. I was just about to say, Sandy, that uh, much though Hibs have looked likelier to add to their lead than Hearts have looked likely to square the game. With the scoreline at 1 0, there's always the chance that that is going to happen. And Hearts look to have salvaged it right at the death. Avery. Janicek. Stamp. That's Graham Weir. Janicek again. And Phil Stamp! Wins the Edinburgh Derby for Hearts! And Phil Stamp's second goal for Hearts. Is going to make it two out of two in the Edinburgh Derby for Hearts this season. He's the hero. Janacek involved again. Starting a little push and go. Janacek played him in again. And what a good finish that is. Across the goalkeeper, low down. Nielsen, that's good play by Nielsen. Harper loves the situation, running at defenders. But he goes up, letting it up. He's a chance now for Hearts. He's got to go in this time. Hearts had the lead. It's Rudolf Skatchel who scored. Callister plays it long, looking again for Bittner. Hartley following it. That was an arm used by Glass, and the penalty kick has been given. Clear handball by Glass, and why, I really don't know. So it's Hartley against Markovsky. Deadly finish again, Hearts are to the lead. The top of the league is beckoning. McAllister forward for Skatchel. Good movement by Waller here, received that extremely well. The ball inside is not a bad one either. Ward breaks kindly now, there's the third from Steven Simmons. The hips catastrophe in defence. Space here for Michael Yunus. Oh, that's number four. Markovsky completely deceived. It's a gala day for Hearts. Well 
way down the side for Scatchel. He can be dangerous here. It's in! Hard trouble for the score. Hartley taking this with great care. It's a high one played back. Scatchel, it's in! There's confusion again, Colbert now, Scantil, can he kill it off, there's a pull to the penalty it is. And this could be the end. Hartley, 3-0. Thompson getting to it, Vera making the mistake, recovers very well though, Scantil just brushing the man aside there, Whitaker, still Scatchel going in, it's there! Callum Elliott, number four. Smith, Benjaloon, Scatchel for Hartley, now opportunities here. And Kaskas arriving on the scene, Hartley! Paul Harley gives Hearts the lead in this all Edinburgh semi. The Gators old club, and that has fired a few dreams at Hampden. Well, it was a heavy price to be paid even when you lose the ball, and it's Benjamin, I'm afraid, who loses it here. Midway inside, the hat's half of the pitch, but watch the break and watch the support from Hartley. Then Kousis has got time to look up, Hartley continues the run. And that is the deftest of touches with the outside of his right foot. And that is a big price to pay for losing the ball midway inside your own half. It was Benjamin who gave the ball up. And only a matter of seconds later, it's in the back of the Hibs net. Webster and Gonsalves have uh, come up predictably. Hartley goes for goal! Stunning strike, Paul Hartley does it again, now they are dreaming, now they are dreaming of a place in the final. Well if Murkowski decides that he doesn't want a two-man wall there, it's got to be more central. And he's just been totally oh, outwitted by a wonderful technique from Paul Hartley. And the one in the wall, Kevin Thompson, got to say, I think the goalkeeper, I don't think the goalkeeper should be beaten from that angle taking nothing away from Hartley, who gets great action on the ball. But I'll tell you what, Tony Mowbray will not be happy with his keeper being beaten from there. He knew it was going in, didn't he? <laughs> Paul Hartley. Ten minutes for Hibs to save themselves, but it's going to take a monumental effort. Of that there is no doubt. Oh, and Markowski with another, another error, and Jankowskis wraps it up. It doesn't get much better than this, beating your fierce rivals in a Scottish Cup semi. Bring on Gretna. I think Ziggy Markowski has got to hold his hands up again. He was always favourite to win it. He didn't seem to check here. Goal scorer for Hearts. Seems to check, like Jankowskis in. No way back after that. He was always favourite to win this, the Hibs goalkeeper, then checked, thought he had more time than he, than he had. And to be fair, Jankowskis, who wasn't prepared to give it up, he gets his reward. And that really is lights out now for Hibs. Pospisil chasing this, oh, he's been held back, and Gary Smith's going to get a red card, surely. There's no choice. Gary Smith is sent off, Hibs are down to nine men, and it's a pen. Well, I hate to say it again, but I think Markovsky should come for this. The ball from Paul Hart has travelled 50, 60 yards. Expected to see the goalkeeper coming out, stayed where he was. And that is not a difficult decision for Stuart Dugan, you can see his angle here, it's perfectly placed to see it. Paul Hartley is going to be on a hat-trick. Harry Smith sent off 
Ivan Sproul sends off. Paul Hartley has never ever scored a hat trick. This would be the time. Here comes Hartley, and here comes a hat trick. What a hero! A superhero. Three for Hartley, four for Hearts, and Jambo's dreams have come so very true. Thirdly deserved hat trick for Paul Hartley as well. A penalty, a free kick, and a wonderful first goal that broke the deadlock. And sums up the confidence of a player who's right at the top of his game and who developed very late in his career. But a top draw midfield player these days. Koski came a long way and didn't get to it, and Hearts have got one back. Just the response they needed, Felicka has got the goal, and they're back in this Edinburgh derby. Well, Malkowski, what is he doing? It's absolutely abysmal goalkeeping. They've got two big centre-halves at six foot four. He's got absolutely no need to come for this. It's getting dealt with, he's not going to score a header from that sort of range. He comes out, he gets nowhere near it, and you have to say, Valitska does well, but it's dreadful goalkeeping. Rob Jones is there, and Hibbs and Malkowski have just thrown Hearts a lifeline. One ball here for Valitska. Oh, and it's gone under Malkowski, and Valitska gets his second of the game, and Hearts have gone from two down to two two. Malkowski beaten, and Vardas Ivanovskis' hearts may well have saved the derby day. Well, it's an absolute disaster from a hips point of view. It's one long straight ball, they don't deal with it. He gets in behind Whitaker. I was wondering why he was in the team before Bednar. He's worked hard, and that's an excellent finish. The goalkeeper, it has to be said, should be covering that near post. I don't think he covers his selling glory but it's a fantastic finish, opportunist, difficult take on the volley, and an unexpected second goal for Valicia gets Hearts right back in this match. But there was time and space for Ben Jaloon. What a chance from so early on. Man, he's smiling a bit, but will him through that? They might do, straight away, because it's come across to Hartley! Paul Hartley with less than two minutes on the clock. He always scores against his former club, Hibs, and he hasn't hung around here. He's got them in his sights again. Well, give us a smile. What about that? What a start. I mean, they should have been 1 0 down. That's 20 seconds or so later. I think it's Bednar that sticks it in, and that's what Hartley's at his best. Flicked on. Bednar, I think, is going for goal there, and that's where your midfielder should be. Getting into the box, and he's not going to miss from there. I'm sure Paul Hartley will fancy it. He looks like the man that's options here to go to the keeper's right and the keeper's left, it's a pretty central area. Really took it then, Hartley. Don't think he would have been allowed to get away with that though. Mark McCurry sorting out the wall. It is Hartley. And Malkowski's lost it. And Hearts go two up. Jankowskis of another dreadful error from Malkowski yet again in an Edinburgh derby. It is 2-0. Well, I've seen some blunders in my time, but that's up there. We're giving him credit at half-time, the lads in the studio for his saving in the first half. But that's a dreadful mistake, it really is, because it's a poor free kick. It's bread and butter. 
How's he let that go? What a gift to Hearts. Oh, Malkowski, for me, he's a liability in goal for Hibs. He makes far too many mistakes. He was having a good afternoon, but that's a dreadful start to the second half, and that's a dreadful mistake. On by Bednar. Well, no wonder he's getting mobbed by his players. And John Collins is frustrated because what a finish from Michaelunas. They don't deal with it, Hibbs, as the ball comes in. It's not a great ball in. And they don't clear it. They allow it to run across them to the edge of the box. Michaelunas kind of went off the right-hand side on his weaker left foot. And Malkowski's getting no chance. That is a top-class finish in a game like this. After losing two goals, they take the lead again. And what a finish from Michaelunas. What a blow for Hibbs. Sent off against Hibbs in October. He has scored a screamer there to give Hearts the edge. Take two. Driver tries again. All the keepers come for it. Not very convincing. And it's been turned in by Zaliukas. And Hearts have struck late on at Easter Road against their fierce rivals. Andy McNeil unable to deal with it. And Hearts may be spoiling the League Cup winning party here. Well, quite simply, the goalkeeper doesn't deal with it properly. He just flaps at it, and to be fair to Zaliukas, he's had a lot of defending to do, but that's an excellent finish keeps it down and once again in a derby in a derby John Collins has another goalkeeping error it looks like it's going to cost them well goalkeeping errors all too prevalent for Hibs of late it happened to Zibi Markowski in Edinburgh derbies it happened to Simon Brown against Rangers the other week and now Andy McNeil the latest victim of the goalkeeping jinx here an ineffective Palm away, allowing Zaliukas to drill it back in. And the last time these two teams met here at Tynecastle, they gave us probably the game of the season on Boxing Day. Tosmazil chasing this. Hogg and Martis finding it awkward. Oh, what a start! Tosmazil! After 24 seconds, it's Hearts 1, Hibs 0, and that's the way to start an Edinburgh derby. Well, let me tell you, it's 10 out of 10 for perseverance for post pursuit. But if you cannot defend one punt up the field like that, and you've got three centre-halves, then you've got big problems. The goalkeeper's blameless because he's got absolutely no chance. We spoke about him having protection before the game. He got absolutely no protection here. It's one disaster after another. As a centre-half, you cannot allow the ball to bounce there. He allowed it to bounce. 10 out of 10 for perseverance. What a dreadful start from Hibs. Hogg and Martis, the guilty men, as Mikhail Pospisil celebrates his first ever goal in an Edinburgh derby. Oh, McNeil, it's another error. Well, we spoke about it before the match. We didn't want to see it happen. We know players make mistakes, but you have to learn from your mistakes. OK, the surface, the conditions play their part, but it's got to be bread and butter. How many mistakes are Hibs goalkeepers going to make in derbies? But credit to Driver, it's, he finishes it well. But my, oh my, he's just made two very good saves. His confidence must have been high, but he's just absolutely gifted 
the second goal to Hearts. Oh, and how must they be feeling now? Castle Park. There's a wee fit for team that will I make its mark. They've won all the honours for footballing arts, and there's no other team they compare with the hearts. H E A R T S. If you can spell it, then here's what it says: Hearts, hearts, glorious hearts. It's down at Time Castle they buy The dog called the tune of the boys in maroon And all Ricky supports them with pride This is my story This is my song Follow the hearts and you can go wrong Though some say the Rangers and Celtic Grand. The boys in Maroon are the best in the land We've won the league flag and we've won the league cup Though we sometimes go down, we can I go back up Our forwards can score and it's no idle talk Our defence is as strong as the old castle rock Ain't she a RTS If you can spell it Then here's what it says Hearts, hearts Glorious hearts It's down at Time Castle They buy The top call the tune Of the boys in Maroon And the Ricky Supports them with pride National caps we can always supply Like Massey and Walker or Bold and Mackay If I had the time I could name dozens more Who have helped in producing the old hand and roar H-E-A-R-T-S If you can spell it then here's what it says Hearts, hearts, glorious hearts It's down at Time Castle 